With three-dimensional geologic mapping technology, Roy Van Arsdale has modeled this subterranean world, hoping to find some answers. Well, we're compiling all kinds of information that we can get in terms of uh, deep information. This first screen is a digital elevation model, which is basically a rendition of the topography of the region. We have the Mississippi River floodplain in view there. And in fact, uh, there's a little gold star that shows where we're sitting right now in Memphis, Tennessee. Using sound waves, scientists determine the composition of the rocks and subsoil, a geological snapshot of the terrain under the Mississippi sediments. This second layer is five miles below the surface. We're looking at what's called the Precambrian surface in these multicolored depiction. And what you can also see is that the Precambrian geology is broken by faults. That's what these planes are that displace that surface. And there are earthquakes occurring along these two particular faults. Uh, these faults are oriented in such a way that it looks like they are trending towards Memphis and Shelby County, the star in the model. So we expect that they probably do pass beneath uh, where we are right now. Next, they plot onto the geography the locations of earthquakes in the region since 1995. There have been earthquakes occurring over a long period of time, but these are the earthquakes that are well located. With the earthquakes in this uh, pseudo 3D projection, uh, they look like a shotgun blast until you rotate the model. You can see that the earthquakes align themselves along a plane. What you're looking at now is the real foot fault, and the earthquakes are popping off along that fault plane. There it is, the killer fault people want to ignore. Pretty small, just 149 miles long compared to the San Andreas Fault that stretches more than 700 miles. But it packs a devastating punch because seismic waves travel easily through Midwest bedrock. Seismic intensity maps of the 1811 event show destructive shaking in each of these quakes, stretching for more than 350 miles from the epicenters on the New Madrid fault line. 